If you've worked with Idris in the past, you may have noticed that the output from the Idris compiler is colored so that you can see what kind of a name a thing is. For example, if I write a list containing two strings, a and b, I get back the data as red and the type as blue. This is nice when working with dependent types because data can occur in types. Additionally, when I'm in Idris mode for Emacs, I have extra things that I can do based on this coloring. For example, if I put the mouse over B and I look at the tooltip, I see that it is a string of length 1 and that it is type string. If I put the mouse over the word list, I see that it is a type constructor, which is to say it has type to type, and we see the documentation of linked lists. Likewise, with string, we can see that it's a string in some unspecified encoding. So we have documentation in the tooltip. Um, the with list syntax up there just said to use lists version of the square brackets. Now, let's take a look at another kind of thing we can do with the Idris interpreter output. Let's say with vect, and then one, two, and then up, append that to the vect containing three. And we get back the vec containing one, two, three, as we would expect. But what came out of Idris there are not just output. We actually have references to live terms. So we call this active terms inside of Idris mode. So we can do things with them after they've been output. So for instance, if I'd like to see the explicit version of this, the fully explicit version, then I can give a command. The key binding is Control C, Control M, I to show the implicits. And now I see all of the implicit arguments to all of the constructors occurring in that vector. I can hide them again with Control C, Control M, H. Likewise, on the type side of the colon, I can say Control C, Control M, I, and I see the fully explicit name of the type constructor. There are no implicit arguments, so none of them were to, there to be shown. And I can hide them again. If you can't remember the key bindings, then in areas of Idris where these things make sense to do, you can go to the menu and say show term interaction widgets, and then all of the active terms turn gray with this little triangle. And then you can right click the triangle to get some commands. So I can show the implicits, and then I can come and I can say show the term interaction widgets, and then I can say hide the implicits again. I can do more than just showing and hiding implicits with active terms. If I say, if I take the previous expression and then show its type, we can see that its type, well, first off, on the left-hand side, it shows the unnormalized version. So when you when Idris sees numbers, it desugars it to a call to from integer, which we can see as part of this uh, num type class. And then we see that the plus plus remains in place. And then we see that the type actually contains 2 plus 1, which is where the 3 came from up here. Oh. When I have these non-normalized terms, which will sometimes occur in meta variable lists, sometimes they'll occur in error messages, and sometimes they'll occur in things like documentation and type output, I can then ask Idris to normalize the term. And then I can later, if, I'm, if I want to see what's going on over on the right hand side, I can also normalize the type. So that's in show term interaction widgets, normalize. And this doesn't just work in the redevelop print loop. If I have a buffer containing Idris code with a type error and I load that buffer, then I get back an error message buffer. So it's saying that when I'm elaborating the right-hand side of test, I it was unable to do a unification. And let's say I'm a little bit confused as to what all of the implicit arguments are here. Well, once again, I can show the term interaction widgets, and then I can show the fully explicit version. This can be very nice when you're trying to diagnose some kind of complicated problem. So that was active terms in Idris mode. Thanks for watching.